<clears throat> okay, um, in this video, we are going to introduce um, second order linear ODEs, uh, homogeneous ODEs actually, uh, with constant coefficients. Um, so we're going to consider a second order linear homogeneous ODE of the form AY double prime plus by prime plus cy equal to zero where a b and c are real coefficients okay so what we are going to do here for this ode so this ode is suggesting that uh, um, its solution going to be a function which is such that if you add multiples of itself constant multiples of itself and its derivatives you're going to get zero um, so that means uh, itself and its derivatives must be of the same form so that uh, suggests that the solution um, must be an exponential function of some kind because the exponential um, is uh, one function which is such that its derivatives are constant multiples of uh, itself <coughs> provided that the exponent is a linear function. So for that reason um, we are going to look for a solution um, which is in the form of an exponential function. So I think a uh, solution uh, of the form y equal to e uh, to the rx, where r is uh, a constant, where r is a constant. Um, let's call this. Uh, equation number two um, so um, differentiating number two uh, equation two is going to give us r e to the r x second order derivative is going to be r squared e to the r x Okay, then we're going to substitute into one. So substituting um, into one, it's going to give us the following situation. So it's going to be a times the second order derivative is r squared e to the r x plus b times first order derivative is r e to the r x c times e to the r x equal to zero and then uh, you can see that uh, e to the r x here is common e to the r x a r squared plus b r plus c equal to zero um, since e to the rx can never be equal to zero we can divide by e to the rx okay by e to the rx because this cannot be equal to zero um, so this is going to give us a quadratic equation in r a r squared plus b r plus c let's call this equation number three um, this equation is called uh, the auxiliary equation or the characteristic equation 
of the ODE number one. Um, so auxiliary equation or characteristic equation. Characteristic uh, equation of the ODE uh, one. <clears throat> So I'm just going to write the ODE just above here. So remember the ODE is AY double prime plus BY prime CY equal to zero. And then the characteristic equation is AR squared plus BR plus C. Okay. Um, now <clears throat> the solution of uh, this ODE here depends on the roots, the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation number three, okay? And uh, there are going to be three cases that are depending on the nature of the roots. So let's just look at uh, those cases here. Okay, so the, uh, the uh, three cases um, which are depending, dependent uh, on the nature of the roots. Of three okay so we know if you have got a quadratic equation with real coefficients uh, the three cases either could have uh, um, two real distinct roots or you could have um, uh, a repeated real roots or you could have complex roots so I'm going to look at uh, those uh, three cases now so case one, um, so I'm going to look at the case where we've got uh, real uh, distinct roots. Okay, um, so if R1 and R2 are two uh, real um, Distinct roots of three, okay. Um, then uh, then E to R one X um, and E to R two X uh, two linearly uh, independent solutions of the ODE number one. Okay, so these are the two linearly independent solutions. Um, the Then the function y of x uh, equal a times e to the r1 x plus b times e to the r2 x um, where a and b are arbitrary constants Um, so this 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 function is called the general solution uh, of one. This is the general solution. Let me write uh, this. 
general solution which we're going to abbreviate yes of ODE number one so that's the case where R1 and R2 are real distinct roots um, case two um, is the case of uh, real uh, repeated roots um, so let's say um, if equation number three has only one uh, real uh, repeated or double root only one real repeated root um, let's call it R okay um, then e to the Rx is a solution of equation number one okay and since there is only one repeated root uh, that is the only solution um, <coughs> excuse me the um, um, the other solution is going to be a multiple of this um, the coefficient or the multiplier is going to be x uh, so let's just uh, write it uh, turns out that the second uh, solution which is linearly independent uh, to this function uh, turns out that the second linearly independent solution uh, is given by x e to the r x okay so we just multiply this by x and then that is also a solution um, so in this case the general solution is going to be a plus dx all multiplied by e to our x so if you like this is a e to the r x which is the first solution then b x e to the r x which is the second solution so this is uh, the general solution of one where n b again are arbitrary functions case three is the case where the solutions are complex okay uh, when i say the solutions i mean the solutions of three all right so um so in this case, let uh, R1 and R2 be complex uh, roots of three. Okay. Um, now, from your uh, algebra of uh, complex polynomials, you are going to recall that um, if the coefficients of a polynomial uh, are all real then complex roots must occur in complex conjugate pairs okay so since the coefficients um, of three that is a b 
and C so these are all real um, the roots must be a complex conjugate okay um, what we mean is that uh, if r1 is alpha plus i beta then r2 must be alpha minus i beta where alpha and beta are real uh, so alpha and beta are real numbers okay um so following what we did in uh, in case one uh, the general solution uh, is going to be given by so the general solution y of x is going to be given by k1 e to the alpha plus i beta x plus k2e to the alpha minus i beta x times x where k1 and k2 are constants um, we can factor out e to the alpha x here so that's just going to be k1e to the i beta x plus k2e to the minus i beta x and then um, using Euler's formula uh, the first case gives us cosine beta x plus i sine beta x um, in the second case gives us cosine beta x minus i sine beta x then we're going to uh, remove brackets and collect terms um, the real terms we're going to bring together and the imaginary uh, terms we're going to bring together too so the real terms be k1 plus k2 cosine beta x and then for the imaginary terms we're going to have k1 minus k2 sine beta x okay now remember i is a constant okay so this we can just write as e to the alpha x into a cosine of beta x plus b sine of beta x uh, where uh, a is k1 plus k2 is a constant um, so let's uh, rephrase this. So these are all arbitrary constants. So A is K1 plus K2. B is I K1 minus K2. All right. So that covers uh, all three cases. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, just uh, do a quick summary. Um, before we do a quick summary, um, I think some of you will be um, having question marks on how this second solution here comes about okay 
um, if that's the case you can um, we'll answer we we'll answer this question um, in another video which um, presents a theorem of how to find a second solution of a uh, linear ODE given one solution so here we have got this solution question is how does this one come about so um, that so, um, theorem enables us to uh, show how if this is a solution then the second solution is going to be given by x e to the r x all right so let's uh, go to the summary now um and then in the um, next video which is going to be like uh, part two of this we're going to look at some actual examples okay so in the summary in this column we're going to have a type of roots um and then here we're going to list the roots and then in the last column we're going to present the general solution corresponding to each case okay um, so just remember this is for the case where we've got this ODE and the corresponding auxiliary equation is this one okay so um in the first case we have got uh, real distinct roots uh, real distinct so r1 and r2 for instance then the general solution it's going to be a e to the r1 x plus b e to the r2 x okay then um the second uh, case is a case of a repeated root the repeated root can only be a real root you can't have complex repeated roots for um for this quadratic so real repeated so here we are saying just call this the, the root okay let's call it r1 for consistency um then our solution is going to be a e to the r1 x plus b x e to the r1 x okay then the last case is the case of complex roots okay need a bit more space here so in that case r1 is alpha plus i beta alpha plus i beta r2 alpha minus i beta the general solution is e to the rx alpha x i beg your pardon cosine beta x plus b sine beta x all right so that uh, gives us a summary of um, uh, what you can expect um, for this second order homogeneous linear ode with uh, constant coefficients all right so we're going to end this one here uh, then you can check our part two of this video where we're going to present some 
um, numerical um, examples. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it was uh, useful. Please do subscribe um, so that you can get notified whenever we post new material.